back to my channel you guys. I hope you're excited for today's review. We are reviewing Wet n Wild's Mega Last Catsuit Matte Lipsticks. We recently launched 13 different shades and girl, okay, I got my hands on six for us to try them out together. They're running for $2.89 if you didn't know. It is a cruelty free vegan brand and these are supposed to be really pigmented, really long lasting, flake free and I'm really excited to see, you know, the semi matte finish that these lipsticks have and I'm really excited to try them out especially because they're super affordable $2.99 you can't beat that so I hope you guys enjoy today's review as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this one and let's jump on in and try out these lipsticks so the first lip color we're gonna go ahead and try on this is called mauve out of here <laughs> and I'm assuming this is a mauve lip color I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it in the back of my hand so you guys can see and it is definitely really pigmented as you saw right now I only did one swatch and it is definitely creamy and pigmented and I really love this shade I think it's a really pretty color it definitely has like a pink undertone to it so I feel like this will be a pretty vibrant shade so you guys let's go ahead and try on mauve out of here shade this one is called bear it all <laughs> and in purchasing these lip shades you guys I made the effort to purchase like everyday kind of lip colors it's just because I feel like these are colors that people will most likely be interested in wearing more often like they're more neutral shades everyday lip colors that's what I mean so I hope you guys like the colors that I picked if you guys are interested in more vibrant colors comment down below let me know and I'll definitely make an effort to purchase other colors that are a little bit more vibrant but I did did pick a few wine colors too so I'll be swatching them soon so don't worry as for bear it all this is a really beautiful nude I personally really love this shade I feel like it would it's like a neutral undertone so I feel like a lot of people could wear this lip color and it would complement them really well so you guys let's go and try on bear it all called wine room and this one as you can tell it's gonna be like a pretty wine color well I'm hoping it's a pretty wine color <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it and here it is it kind of has like a mauvey undertone but it does kind of have like a berry color in it if that makes any sense let me just show you <laughs> and this is the swatch so far you guys are gliding on really nicely it feels really creamy but still with a pretty matte finish so you guys let's go to try on wine room shade we're gonna go ahead and swatch out it is called cinnamon spice and I absolutely got this because I was like you know what they kind of look like a fall lip color and we're moving into fall I should start looking into that so I purchased this color just because I was hoping it would be a really pretty like fall lip color for us to you know have <laughs> and here is the swatch it is a very very pretty very pigmented and I love it. it's definitely a really pretty cinnamon lip color so I really like it so you guys let's go to try on cinnamon spice the lip shade we're gonna go ahead and swatch on you guys this one is called skinny dippin <laughs> And I got this lip color just for the name of it, to be honest. I just love little, like, sassy, quirky names that are kind of, like, eye-catchy. And, you know, it's really memorable, so I really love that. And that's why I got Skinny Dippin'. So, enough talking and rambling. Let me go ahead and swatch in the back of my hand. Okay, so this is a really pretty nude lipstick. It definitely is a more... I feel like in your camera you probably won't see, but I feel like it kind of has, like, a gray undertone slightly to it but it, it's still a really pretty shade and I feel like I feel like this is really pretty especially if you added like a gloss over like the center of the lips it'd be so pretty so you guys let's go ahead and try on a skinny dip our last and final lip color we're gonna go ahead and try on now it is called never nude <laughs> 
and I'm assuming that this is a nude lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it on. And ooh, this is a really pretty nude, you guys. This is, I think, probably one of my favorites out of the ones that I purchased. Um, just by swatching it in the back of my hand. Obviously, I haven't tried it on yet. But I really love it. It's the prettiest light nude. It is very pretty. And I feel like it has kind of like a slight pinky undertone to it. But it's still really flattering and neutral that I feel like, you know, it'll still look cute on. You know what I mean? So, you guys, let's go ahead and try on Never Nude. watching on all of the lipsticks not all of them okay just the ones that I got but <laughs> but I haven't tried them on for you guys and let's go ahead and talk about them so to be honest the packaging is really simple nothing anything it's not anything fancy um, it's pretty much all black it has a little cute little lip on the center of the packaging it says a wet and wild engraved in there on the top it is clear so you can see the lipstick color in the packaging so I like that especially because if you're on the go and you just don't want to open it up and kind of look through all your lipsticks you can just look at the top of it and see you know which color you're grabbing so you can throw it in your purse and be on the go so I really like that um, for $2.99 I really love the price you guys $2.99 that is so cheap <laughs> like you can't get any cheaper other than the 99 cent store and I really like that you can get like five different colors or a few different colors for under ten dollars that is super affordable and these colors are gonna last you a really long time I really love how pigmented they really are one swatch and you get so much color Color. It really does have a semi-matte velvety finish to it. You can tell more of the velvety finish when you're pressing your lips together because it doesn't feel powdery. I think they did a really good job in picking out their lip shades. I feel like they gave us a really good variety and I feel like there's something for everyone to pick and find something that they will like. So yeah, you guys, I personally really like them. There is no complaints about them. I feel like they're really pigmented. You're definitely getting a bang for your buck for what you're paying for. And yeah, I have no complaints. If you guys have any any questions whatsoever please comment down below ask away and I'll do my best to answer your questions and as always you guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this one it really does help out my channel and as always I will see you all in my next video I love you guys so much bye